Hey everyone, it's Clayton here with Tech Mods, and today I'm just going to be quickly going over on how to get your Sun Driver running if uh, you're running on the older firmware. So if you purchase uh, the Sun Driver mod chip from Tech Mods, this should not be happening because all Sun Drivers that are purchased from Tech Mods, either the pre modded consoles or the Sun Driver installation or just the Sun Driver itself, you will uh, re receive the most recent firmware uh, flashed onto the Sun Drive so that you won't need this Nero dual, dual programmer. Because uh, if you don't have this, you won't be able to update the firmware on your actual Sun Driver. So uh, I just wanted to quickly go over that. And uh, I just want to mention though before all of that, check the uh, description for an actual link to the products from Tech Mods. So uh, let's just quickly get into this right now. So uh, we have the uh, Sun Driver. Uh, it is currently on the most recent firmware, but yours may be on an older firmware. And if you're on an older firmware, uh, the pro what will happen is you will not be able to run the uh, program. If you try and use the most recent version of the application on your computer and try and install that version 7 menu, it just won't work because your firmware needs to be on the most recent firmware to do so. So I'm just going to quickly go over and show you guys how to get the first version of the program. You can either download it straight from D2Sun or I'll also provide a link in the description for the download. So let's just quickly go in here and I'll show you the file that you'll download after. So the file is right here. You should, be, you should download it as a zip file the SunDriver file tech mods and then you have the also have the SunDriver uh, file tech mods which will be the extracted actual folder that should come from the uh, RAR file it's actually a zip file not a RAR but uh okay so we when you do extract that you open it up and you'll see this actual program right here so you have the disk menu 01 and SunDriver program uh, version 2.04 so what you're going to want to do, if you are on Windows 7, uh, or I'm not sure about Windows Vista, but I know for Windows 7 and Windows Vista, I'm pretty sure for Windows Vista you may also have to do this. Windows XP users will not have to do this. Uh, you have to go in, go to Properties, and go to Compatibility, select Run This Program in Compatibility Mode for Windows XP, and then Run This Program as an Administrator, then select Apply. Okay, now you can run the program. As you can see, it won't connect because I don't have my sun driver connected. So what you're going to want to take is your USB cable, plug that into the front of your sun driver, into the USB port on the front. First, you're also going to want to make sure all these are to the right side, to the eject button, all the buttons here. There will be uh, approximately four switches that you're going to want to make sure they're all to the right side. Um, after you do that, just simply plug it in, turn it on, and then it should slowly get connected. It should connect and then once it does connect, I'll start going from there. So you'll, you may get a pop-up saying that you need to format the disk. You aren't going to want to do that. Uh, you're actually going to need to format it. So the first, the very first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything is format it. You'll get two pop-ups here. Simply select it twice. It'll say please disconnect your sun driver and then uh, reconnect it. So let's do that. Disconnect. And then simply reconnect. should get connected any minute now there we go you'll get the pop-up again you don't want that so now you're gonna to want to upgrade the menu program simply go back go back to the disk menu 01 sun driver menu select that it will copy it over this takes around a minute or so so I'll skip through this and uh, okay so now we have that uh, the menu program loaded and copy it over to our sun driver. 
we're going to want to select the Use NGC menu, select our console, and then select Upgrade Lock. You don't have to select the Upgrade Lock, but I just recommend it. So now what you're going to want to do is simply uh, check that your program is properly installed. So to do this, you're just going to want to simply go to your uh, the connection that your Wii will be on. And then simply unplug it. Unplug your sun driver from the USB cord and it should get net recognized in the program. And this is if the menu is installed properly. If it wasn't installed properly, you may need to do this over. So there we go. It did take a few seconds there. That was a bit longer than usual, but it did eventually grab. So come on now. I can't even... There we go, okay. So you have a quick little uh, music that plays and then you can press start. So now you're in the actual SunDisk program and you can tell that it's running properly so what you're going to want to do is take your USB cord and plug it back into your uh, Wii. So now it's plugged back in, my Wii is still turned on. So let's go back to my uh, computer and you can see it just got noticed again. So. Now we can actually start copying over the ISO files. So mine are actually right in another hard drive, but they should be on here. There we go. So I have New Super Mario Bros. and Driver San Francisco. Both of them are backups. As you can see, I have both the games right here. And then Driver San Francisco. So, let's simply copy these over. So to do this, you simply want to select the bank. So you have multiple banks you can select. Uh, if, the, if the game is bigger than f uh, 4 gigabytes, it will actually use up two banks for one game. But that's just not a big deal. So I'm going to quickly go back and find my games again. Open up the game that I want to copy over. It should then start copying over. So, select my bank, and then I'm just going to simply select the ISOs to SunDriver. So this takes approximately, uh, I don't know, two or three minutes. So I'm just going to skip over this like I did the last one, just so you guys don't have to watch the loading bar. Okay, so now that it's finally complete, we're going to want to copy our next game. So what you're going to want to do, you can't copy it onto the same bank or it'll overwrite the game. So simply go in, select your other game. Open it up. ISOs to SunDriver again. And there we go. That's your next game copied. And I'm going to skip over this one again just to make this a little bit quicker. Okay, so now that we have our uh, games copied over, what we're going to want to do is go back to our sun driver and uh, launch the games. So I'll simply unplug my sun driver from my USB cable, select my component, I mean my video. I don't want to go to component because it won't connect my way. Okay, so now we have that connected and my Wii is disconnected as you can see. So how do you want to, I'll quickly go over how to select different games. So to select each game you press reset and that will move the uh, the pointer and then from there you can press eject and that will launch the game. So I'm gonna simply uh, launch the game now. Now Say to continue. So 
So, as you can see, there's your game. So after you have it launched, to have it so that this game won't launch, you're going to want to turn off your Wii. Completely turn it off, as you can see, and then power it on by pressing the eject button. If you just power it on with your power button, it'll launch back into the Wii game. If you So, to get back to the GameCube uh, menu, you, you press the eject by turning on the Wii. So now you have the GameCube menu back. So, thanks for watching, and uh, comment, rate, subscribe.